It's funny because just as I was getting ready to record, I sneezed like three times and I'm like, it literally came out of nowhere. I didn't even feel congested until afterwards. So hopefully that everything is run its course and I've had my three sneezes for the day because allergies. Um, I decided to, you know, moderately dress up a little bit. Still no makeup because I can't be fucking bothered for a less than 10 minute long video or, you know, however long this ends up being because I don't know. I don't really know. But uh, gold is not really my color. But these things, I I was not able to pass up on them. When I saw this at a garage sale, I, I just found the pendant at a yard sale as well. It's just a black rose and put it on a little choker which I'm like those are pretty cute together I don't I'm not mad at it but again I don't really wear gold ever so they might actually be my only only gold jewelry now that I'm remembering like some other shit that I've had for ages that I'm not actually sure if it's real or not so I've hung on to it it probably isn't but even if it's like gold plated or something I don't really want to throw it in with the charity shop stuff why did i say charity shop like i'm british like with the goodwill stuff because i was trying to avoid saying goodwill stuff because i don't want to fucking go to goodwill and give my shit there for them to charge ten dollars for something that costs two dollars retail i'm not mad about it maybe a little i heard a goose and i thought it was like somebody laughing outside i was like what the fuck who is doing that honking? So it's actually really nice outside today because it's like almost 60 degrees. Well, it'll be probably around 50 when the sun goes fully down. Wanted to move the stand up a little bit because I was like kind of hunching over. It's like, why can't I breathe that well? Oh, probably because you're crunching your fucking lungs. So anyway, what I was trying to say as we were hearing the geese going by, at least I was because the camera probably didn't pick it up. It's really nice outside tonight, so that means I'm going to be able to go out on a night walk, which I can't really take you guys with me, you know, the ethereal you guys in the camera. I can't take you with me because I'm not keen on showing you around my neighborhood, as cool as that would be because I've gotten some pretty fucking cool pictures around, but so it goes, I'm not trying to dox myself. I really love being able to go out on night walks because it's such a an integral part of my thought process and just slowing down and this is uh, this all sounds kind of hoity-toity but it just it facilitates healing for my brain for my emotions and and just getting the chance to kind of calm down. Sometimes I'll listen to music, not often, because I want to be able to hear who or what is around me. Luckily, I haven't seen any coyotes lately, but I know they're around because I think it's their, is it their mating season? I don't know, but their neighbors have been seeing them a lot more recently, which I am not really their target. However, I don't really want to find out. I feel like this is even more incomprehensible than it was the past couple of days. Like, I think I'm finishing, for the most part, the points that I'm trying to make. I think you all can understand what I'm saying here, but I don't... It's kind of driving me nuts to hear myself talk at the moment. Oh yeah, but anyway, from when I was talking about going out on night walks, it just... It's fucking great. And since I'm an absolute vampire, who's literally allergic to sunlight, like, not totally intolerant, but if I don't want my skin to be fucking in hives later on, it's got to be at night. Or I'm going to be in, like, full fucking garb, which sucks. <laughs> and it's bright, and my little, poor little vampire eyes can't handle it. Mm. Vampires are so fragile. At least this one is. I'm just fucking around with this soup. Let me show you the soup. I have been turned on this. I don't know if that's going to show up being um, flipped or not. It's showing flipped in the in the screen right now, but this is the butternut squash creamy soup. <laughs> that's what this is. I had some of this stuff when I was, I had my wisdom tooth surgery and I had some of them left over that had been in my pantry for probably an inappropriate amount of time. However, that date is only a number. 
because they taste fine. This is a newer one though for, it has 2024 on it, but I highly recommend it. But from this brand, do I even have to say not sponsored? Like there's gonna be maybe like two people watching this ever. <laughs> Check out my soup haul. Anyway, <laughs> oh God, can I just like bounce back from that? I don't know. <laughs> I watch way too much YouTube. I think that's evident. Oh, what I was going to say was there is a potato and leek flavor that I had for the first time today. Absolute fucking garbage. First of all, it looked, I was pouring it out into my mug so I could throw it in the microwave at work and sip on it because it doesn't have chunks in it. Those are extra additions, extra garnishments, but uh, yeah, it's completely liquid. So I drink it, I drink, eat it, you know? And I was pouring it in the mug and it was like this horrible, like grayish color. And I was like, has this gone bad? So I went to smell it. One of my work friends was, talk was talking to me at the time and I'm just like, I don't know if that's supposed to smell like that or if it's gone bad. But anyway, I had full faith in it being still good and just maybe smelling not the greatest. So I threw it in the microwave, it got hot. I tried it, mm, wasn't too great. It didn't, again, it didn't taste like it had gone bad, but it wasn't great. And I don't know if it was like the leek flavor was the, the first thing to hit my taste buds, but it was a lot better maybe like a minute or so after I had swallowed it. We're gonna move on from that, okay? It had tasted like actual potato after like a minute, like the aftertaste. And I'm like, see, if it tasted like this from beginning, middle, and end, I'd be on board with it because I like potatoes. Who the fuck doesn't? Oh, see, I'm getting distracted again. What if they had like sweet potato soup like this? That would be incredible. Maybe. I like sweet potatoes. So yeah, that was my disappointing soup today. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it because it's a container just like that one. I just had to throw it <laughs> back over on my bed so I won't keep fucking with it and making making that kind of noise. My work stuff is like right in front of me on my bed. That's where I'm at. That's, you see? Have we seen this angle of my room before? I don't know. Not for... Probably not any time recently, I don't know. I made that, and I made that. I made that when I was like, my first semester of college. Well, I can't get the angle right. It's a bell pepper. Yes, I like having my own art on the walls. I think those are the only two, maybe. <laughs> those might be the only two. I don't fucking know. Maybe we'll do like a wall art tour, even though some of the stuff in on here is just like, well, like these, uh, those are from a friend and they sent a letter to me and I thought it was pretty endearing. So I just stuck it up on my wall. So some of the other things are like, like those are, oh Christ, you can't even see it from death and floral that, God, I can't point. The phone in the flowers is also from my recent Death in Floral order. It's That's perfume, by the way. They're a little indie perfume. Artist shop. Probably not artist, it's a shop. <laughs> Death in Floral. They do some really interesting scents and some great atmospherics. It's like, how would I rank them? <laughs> See, now I'm completely pivoting topics again, and now I'm talking about another like interest of mine that I have a lot of, and that is perfume. Mostly after I had COVID, because once you lose your sense of smell and it's like fucky for a while, I learned to appreciate it a lot more. So for indie brands, we're gonna just switch gears here. It's fine. It's fine. Hexanoct is my number one. Oh God, do I, am I doing the, I don't think it's gonna want to do it anyway. Amityville. I'm still not moving it the correct way. It promise, I promise it says Amityville. This is how their rollerball looks. Hexanoct is probably my favorite of the indie perfumes. 
and this is so sweet and so good and it lasts for a long fucking time because sometimes I'll wear it when I go to sleep just because and again, like I mentioned about COVID being, like, fucky and, like, my sense of smell being fucky, I'm paranoid of getting COVID again and I want to have things nearby that, nearby, like, as in by my bed, that I can smell, that I know the smell of and that it's strong enough. Because previously it was acetone and, I mean, I couldn't smell acetone at all when I had COVID, so that was, like, unfortunately my go-to for a while. I don't recommend smelling acetone. So this, <laughs> that was, that took a turn, kind of, <laughs> mentally I took a turn, thinking back to that. But it lasts, so did I finish my thought about putting it on before I go to sleep, just in case, like, I freak out? It's like, oh my god, I just drank water and I couldn't taste it, which, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and wanting to smell things to make sure that I still have my sense of smell. And it lasts all night, like it lasts like eight plus hours and it doesn't smell like as strong as it does in the bottle, like it, it does fade out, but it, it retains some of its sweetness too, if I smell it on the skin and it's really nice. There's no other brand that I've used that lasts quite as long as Hexanox stuff does. <laughs> and I was thinking, do I want to keep talking about perfumes? That's why I kind of just like... Let my eyes wander off into the distance. No, I don't want to talk about perfumes right now. Even though I could, I don't think I want to at this very moment. Maybe in the future if anybody wants that or I feel like making it. Because, yeah, he Hexanoct, number one. Number one for longevity and sense. For sure. Apal's great too, but it's it's like maybe the fourth one down. Fuck it, it's it's Hexanoct. Then Blackhearted Tart is another one that I discovered recently, and I got a bunch of samples from them, and they had way more hits than things that I didn't like. I don't think there was anything that I was repulsed by. The only problem with them is it doesn't last very long. They have this really, really nice orange scent. I think it's called My Bloody Orange Valentine. It's absolutely lovely, but it probably doesn't last more than three or four hours on my skin. And that's not treating it any differently than I do any of the other per perfume that I put on. So I don't know if maybe a primer might help out with that sort of thing, but I don't know. They do smell really, really lovely though. And I put it in my my coffin BPAL locket and it seems to last a longer time on there than it does on my skin like it'll last days in that thing just on some felt and then death and floral death and floral I would say number th is number three see I'm starting to lose the ability to talk and then BPAL who else have I used I've tried a bunch of little indie brands, but there's a couple that really stand out to me. Now, I remember what I was thinking when I was getting ready, and I was just like, oh, gonna pretty myself up a little bit, wear, like, some jewelry purposefully just for the video, and I was thinking how I used to think was, oh my god, I can't be seen without makeup. I can't get the mail without makeup on, because god forbid somebody sees my ugly bare face. That's unacceptable. Here I am, on the internet, like, ten years later, barefaced on the internet, and, I mean, I, I like how I look more with makeup on, but it's often not worth the trouble, because I like putting makeup on, not before I go to work, because I don't often have a lot of time before I go to work, because I don't get up, but I don't get up early enough, I can't be fucking bothered, and, I like putting on makeup, I do not like taking off makeup. That's such a pain in the ass, although I have to fucking do it because... Speaking like in the vein of yesterday's video, I was reminiscing about being drunk and doing like the whole partying thing in my early 20s and I remembered how it felt sleeping in makeup 
<laughs> and just because you get home and you just kind of pass out sometimes you just want to go to sleep and how awful that feels and how awful it looks and it's just like it just feels grody so sleeping in makeup is just not an option and <laughs> I don't understand how people do that like not trying to shame anybody or anything but like what the fuck I grabbed the soup again it's my emotional support soup I remember when I wanted to start YouTube way back when like pretty much since the beginning of YouTube honestly and I hated being on camera I hated watching myself act weird and like my movements and my facial expressions always just I never wanted to hear my own voice I hated looking at my own face so the thought of me going online with no makeup on being this kind of spazzy person that I am it's a different ball game this is a totally different ball game now one of my friends kind of jokingly asked oh how does it feel to be 30 now like oh do you feel any different and I was like no legitimately I feel more powerful I do it another friend described this like experiencing a birthday as a power-up and I was just like legitimately I'm much more powerful than I was going into the new year just already <laughs> I've already acquired a piercing <laughs> a new piercing and it's my 10th one by the way 10th piercing for 30th birthday I think this is getting way more incomprehensible as I go on like I think I'm rounding back to the points that I intended to make but I don't know I think I figured out this daily vlog thing a little bit more because that is not reasonable to expect iCloud to upload my my videos so I can download them to my PC and edit them and then upload them within a reasonable span of time because at work today, like in the afternoon, is when my iCloud videos finally uploaded. And they're like four videos. It was from, it was the vomit story from yesterday. So <laughs> it, it, um... It, it wasn't a long video. I think it ended up being like under 10 minutes long, maybe. So I don't see any reason for that. iCloud is so fucking slow. So instead of uploading this video today, this day, I'm going to wait for tomorrow. Hopefully it will have uploaded it. And then I can edit it and then film a new one for the next day. So yeah, that whole like filming the day of editing it the day of and uploading it the day of is not <laughs> like kudos to anybody you can fucking do that because that ain't for me so this is over 20 minutes long i think i'm gonna get out of here out of here as in like go on a walk relatively soon and i think my video has finished uploading because while i've been speaking here my video has been uploading to YouTube. I didn't even bother making a thumbnail. I don't think I care. So I just got completely fucking distracted by something that absolutely does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Until tomorrow, maybe. Don't know. Again, kind of flying by the seat of my pants here doing this daily vlog thing. We'll see how long I can last.